Well, all right, you filthy animals. Madman Mandelo coming at you from the Garden Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Man, I had a fest last night. <laughs> I built a lot of consoles. <laughs> all right. Anyway, we've got, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. We've got six right now. We're going to have a couple, we're going to have a few more uh, later on. Not a couple more, but a few more uh, later on today. But anyway, all right. These are all up on Alliance servers, of course. Got one year part and labor warranty on it. They're fully loaded, ready to go. College football revamp, college hoops 2K8, uh, BO1, BO2, MW2, MW3, Ghost, Advanced Warfare Off Host, Jiggy, Sentinel, uh, Infinity Ops, uh, Medica Mod Menu, um, you know, and, and of course, um, you know, everything else under the sun. Emulators, all that crap. All right, so anyway, all right, we're going to start off here with Mr. Travis Reed. Okay, Travis went ahead, he purchased a console off the website from us. He wanted the bare bones 32 gig model, okay, which. No problem. So, all of his crap is on here. <laughs> right? USB stick. Wonderful little things, actually. They work pretty good. So, anyway, um, we got this one done. This is RGH3, of course. Alright, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go ahead, we're going to fire this thing up. And then I'm going to swap over to the capture card here. Oh, let me swap over to the capture card. There we go. Alright, and of course, system booted. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to sync this controller up here. And we're going to go through this little puppy. All right, so, anyway, we're going to get our notifications from the server, letting us know that it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. And with the USB model, there is a way to start this thing up for the first time and get it set up on your network for the first time, which is very important that you do that, because if you don't, you'll be staring at that Xbox 360 logo for a very, very, very long time. All right, so anyway, all right, here we go. Now, boot it up, we're into Aurora. Okay, Xbox 360, as you can see, you got your Xbox 360. It's a bare-bones console. But you just wanted it for NCAA Football 14. So, College Hoops 2K8, you got that. And you got NCAA fo Football 14 with uh, College Football revamped on it. Now, homebrew section, this is where your tools reside. Okay, now you can add a hard drive to this later on. You do anything you want with it. It's totally expandable, okay? So, now we'll bring this back to uh, Xbox 360. We'll hit the dashboard, all right? Make sure that she's right and tighten up, which it should be. There you go. All right, and we made it. Now, we're going to go ahead. We hit the guide button. As you can see, we have uh, X Community Beta. Okay? Now, that is a matchmaking uh, thing here for Xbox 360. As you can see, there's a bunch of sh sessions going on right now. For Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Red Dead Redemption, Black Ops 2, a whole bunch of Black Ops 2, and more Modern Warfare 2. Okay. And then, of course, you got your players with your associated servers to the right there, as you can see. A whole bunch of them. And then some. So, and then you have your settings. You got your enable features, custom matchmaking, force modded matchmaking, custom HUD button, change online status, change username, and save the settings. So on and so forth. Now, over in your fifth tab, you have your cheats. You got your advanced warfare cheats, ghost cheats, BO2 cheats, and modern warfare 3 cheats. To disable hit A, to enable hit A, they're all posts on the server. All right, so then we're going to bring this back to Xbox Home. All right, and Travis, there you have it. All right, now it's all done. Now, I'm going to tell you how to set this thing up on your network for the first time. It's almost like the hard drive, but it's a USB stick, okay? So when you first get this thing, before you go powering it on and thinking you're going to get here, you're not. You're going to get to the Xbox 360 logo, and it's going to sit there, okay? Because it's looking for the server. So you got to get it up on your network for the first time. So how to do that, I'm going to show it to you, okay? I'm going to explain this to you here, all right? The first thing that you do, all right, when you get this console, the first thing, first thing, before you plug this in, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to power on the console. Now, it should boot, and it should go right to the original dashboard, okay? Hopefully, within the same amount of luck. Okay, there we go. It booted, of course. We're good. All right, now, what you're going to do is when you get to the original dashboard, okay, and this, you, you do this with, it, with, the, with the other systems, too, with the, with the hard drives, of course. You just pull the hard drive on it. But the first thing that you do is you got to do this. Then you come here. Then what you do is you get up over here. All right, you go to settings, go to system, go to network settings. Really easy. All right, and of course your Wi-Fi is going to come up over here somewhere. Click on it, put your password in. When you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection. Just like this. You're going to get a check mark and two red X's, okay? If you do not get a check mark and two red X's like that, and you get all X's, then your network is not set up on 2.4 gigahertz, okay? On your router, if it's, a, if it's a good router, you will have settings to set up 
a 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth, okay? And also 20 slash 40 megahertz uh, is what you want to select, okay? And then once you enable that channel, then you'll see it, then you'll see when you go to scan the network again, you'll get a check mark and two red X's. Just make sure that your router, okay, can support 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, okay? If it's, a, if it's a model from the internet companies like Spectrum or like from Xfinity or whatever, you're going to have a hell of a time because they are just real cute with locking up their routers and they don't let you, they don't let you do anything. You know, I, you can't change the settings on them or whatever. Okay. And I do have an answer for that. Okay. I'm going to show you that in a second. But anyway, you got two, you got a check mark of two red X's. Okay. So we're good to go. All right. So now what we're going to do is once we have that, we're going to power this thing off now. Just power it off. Just like that. And then stick the USB stick in, all right? And what I want you to do is I want you to pull the power cord on this damn thing, okay? Just leave it out. Leave it out for five minutes, okay? Just to clear the DNS out of it on it and everything else, all right? And after five minutes, I'm done plug it back in. Now, I can do it. It's already on my network, and my DNS is right, so I don't have to worry about it, all right? And then all you got to do is just power it on, okay? And then what will happen is, is the system should boot. And then, once it boots, you should get uh, a Welcome to Alliance, and it should boot right into Aurora, okay? You'll see the green stuff moving around on the screen there. When that green stuff stops moving, that means it locked the server, and what you did, now it's sending its request to the server. The server's checking the CPU key. Okay, you're good to go. And now what's happening is it's, initiate, it's initiating the connection, as you can see. And life is good, all right? And you're good, and it says Welcome to Alliance, and life is grand, okay? So, there you have it. It's very, very simple, all right? Now... Okay, if you don't have a router that's capable of going back to 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth, uh, you know, AO211 and BG and N, okay, I'm going to recommend something for you here, okay? You can get this on Amazon. They're about 29 bucks. It's an extender. It's even got an Ethernet port. This will do uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. You link this to your router. Your router will see this, and of course, it will act as an extender. And then you just connect the Xbox to the extender. It's that simple. All right. Fixes the problem. It's 29 bucks. It beats buying a $300 router like I did. Okay. Because I have a, um, I have a Netgear RA400 router, which is an insane router. It cost me like $349. Okay. So, you know, I mean, it beats by having to buy a router. Okay. But if your router settings are available, you can change it. Just follow your router's manual instructions and you'll be fine. All right. So anyway. Travis, thank you for your business, man. I really do appreciate it. Okay, you're a gentleman and a scholar. It's shipping off today. You'll have a tracking number in just a bit. Thank you so much. All right, now, we're going to say goodbye to Travis here. All right, and by the way, this USB stick will be will not be inserted in the Xbox, okay? It will be in the box, though, all right, just to let you know. Because you know how the post office is. All right, now, okay, Mr. Reed is done. Who do we have next here? Ah, Mr. Greg Downs. Mr. Downs. All right, my friend. This one is yours. This one is a 320 gig. He took advantage of the uh, special that we're having. All all systems from 320 gig on up to 2 terabytes, there's free shipping on it. So that's why I got a plethora of 320 gig systems that I, that I sold, built, and all this other crap. So, anyway. Mr. Downs, this one is yours. Okay? Shall we fire it up? Yes, we shall. I'm not giving you an option. All right, now. I'm going to sync the controller up here system booted all right life is good now, this one's got a bit more of a compliment on it okay quite a bit more actually all right so we're going to boot up into aurora we're going to get the notifications from the server letting us know it's online live all that other happy mumbo jumbo nonsense and then once it does that then we're going to go through this puppy got it good okay and now and we boot it up and we're into aurora and there's our college football revamp one button updater i'm already up to date because we are Okay, they still haven't come out with version 18 yet. We're still waiting on that. So anyway, as you can see, we booted up into Aurora. Okay, life is good. Xbox 360, start off at the dashboard. We've got Battlefield on here, Borderlands, Call of Duty, Bulletstorm, um, your College Troops 2K8, you got your Gears of War, you got your Grand Theft uh, Auto, you got your, your Halo, you got Mass Effect Trilogy, Minecraft, NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamped, of course, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row the Third. And back to the dashboard. All right, Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, you got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. All right, which uh, 
Yeah, pretty much is loaded. You got 25 titles on there, as much as you can fit on 320. Then, of course, you got your homebrew section where your tools reside. All right, as you can see. And then, of course, you have classic game on there. You got Midnight Club uh, 3 Dub Edition on there. That's an original Xbox game. It plays in bypass mode. I explained that in the startup setup video that I'm going to uh, send to you guys with this link here, uh, with the link to this video here. All right, and then, of course, you got indie games. You got, you know, a couple of my favorites, Philip Bar King and Voice Changer 360. And then your emulators. You've got NES emulator, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, back to NES emulator. They're fully loaded. you got over 8,000 ROMs on that alone. All right, so there is a ton, a ton to keep you busy. All right, now, go ahead. We'll hit Xbox 360. We'll hit the dashboard. Make sure she's right and tight, which it should be. It better be. Okay? Bypass the sign-in, and as you can see, it's up, it's online, it's live. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. Again, X Community Beta. And, of course, our cheats, Disable A, Enable A. When you enable a cheat and you go to this perspective game, in the lower left corner of the screen, you're going to see a set of instructions, follow the instructions to use the mod menu. All right, so now we're going to bring that back to Xbox Home. And my friend, Mr. Downs, there you have it. All right, ship it off today. You'll have your tracking number in your email in just a bit, and uh, it'll be on its way to you. All right, so thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. Glad I can build it for you. I'm going to say goodbye to Greg now. All right. Goodbye, Biggie Boo. And now we'll grab hold of Mr. Colton Bobek. Hey, Colton bought a console at the website. Again, he took, he took advantage of the special that I got going on. That's 320 gig drive, another one. So tell you what we'll do. Now we're going to fire this one up. This one is slim, shiny, and it's a Trinity model. So we'll fire this thing up here. Make sure life is good. I'm going to sync this controller right here. There we go. All right. And we we'll boot it up. And life is simply grand. Now we're going to get into Aurora. We'll get our notifications from the server. All that other crazy nonsense. Well, hopefully, anyway. All right, there we go. Got it good. Okay. And now what we'll do is we'll go through this thing. We're going to get our uh, college football revamp one button updater. I'm already up to date. Okay. And we'll go to Xbox 360. Start off at the dashboard. And as you can see, pretty much all your Call of Duties, uh, College Hoops 2K, your Gears of War series, your Grand Theft Auto series. Halo series, Mass Effect uh, Trilogy, NCA Football 14, and we're back to the dashboard, so on and so forth. Xbox Live Arcade, you got your Live Arcade on there as well. You got your homebrew section where your tools reside. You got your classic games, Midnight Club Dub Edition. You got your indie games. And then, of course, you got your emulators. You got Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, uh, NES emulator, back to Game Boy Advance. Now, We'll make sure she's good and up on the con up on the dashboard. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're up and we're live. Hitting the guide button. That's community beta. And of course your cheats. Okay? Disable A, enable A. Pretty much there you have it. Colton, thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. You're a gentleman and a scholar. We're gonna be shipping this off today. You will have your tracking number in just a bit. Thank you so much. I'm going to say goodbye to Colton. And let's see here now. All right. We have Mr. Lyons. Paul Lyons. There's another one. Took advantage of 320 gig. Okay? With free shipping. So, there you have it. Paul, hope you like it. Tell you what. I'm going to fire it up. Swap over to the capture card. Sync the controller. It's like, it's like a religion here, okay? All right, and as you can see, of course, system booted. These are all RGH 3.0. They're all chipless installs. They all run very, very well. Thank God. <laughs> now, we're going to boot up into Aurora. We'll get our notifications from the server, letting us know it's online live, all that other happy nonsense. Okay? Good deal. And now we should get our college football revamp one-button updater. Yes, we did. Okay? Xbox 360, start up at the dashboard. Work our way through, as you can see. All right, you got your Call of Duties on there. You got your College Hoops 2K. You got your Gears of War, your Grand Theft Auto, Halo, Mass Effect, uh, College Football Revamped uh, for NCAA Football 14, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row, so on and so forth. Okay, Xbox Live Arcade. You got a bunch of Live Arcade on there as well. Then, of course, you got your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have your classic games on there, Midnight Club Dub Edition. And then, of course, you have your indie games on there as well. And then you have your emulators. You got NES emulator, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, NES emulator. Okay? Filled with ROMs and good stuff. Alright, now, 
We'll go ahead. We'll hit the dashboard. Make sure she's right and tight. Snappy little thing, ain't it? All right, and we're good. We're at the dashboard. Hitting the guide button, as you can see. X Community Beta, of course. And then, of course, you have your cheats. Disable A, enable A. Very easy. And then we'll bring this back home. And there you have it, Mr. Lyons. Thank you so much for your business, man. I've known you for a long time, my friend. I have seen you on Facebook. I mean, I've known you forever. So, it's good doing business with you once again. Thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. Shipping off today, you'll have your tracking number. And uh, it'll be it'll be to you in two to three days. All right, so, let me say goodbye to Mr. Paul Lyons here. All right. Yeah. Now we grab hold of Reed Haney. Reed. Reed, Reed, Reed. My buddy. All right. My crazy friend. Here you go. 320 gig RGH again. Took advantage of the free shipping and all that. So, tell you what, we'll fire it up. We'll go ahead. Select the controller. Here we go. Give me the stupid thing. Okay, there we go. System booted. Life is good. Alright. Thank God. Oh, come on. Sync, will you? There you go. <laughs> Jesus. Freaking crazy ass button. All right, now we're booting up into Aurora. We'll get our notifications from the server and all that other happy nonsense. All right, got it, good. Okay, and then of course we got our college football revamped updater. There you go, I'm already up to date. Hitting the guide button, Xbox 360, start off at the dashboard, work your way through. Battlefield, Borderlands, Bulletstorm, Call of Duties. Okay, uh, yeah. College Hoops 2K8, Gears of War series, Grand Theft Auto series, Halo series, Mass Effect series. Minecraft, NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamp, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row the Third, so on and so forth. Xbox Live Arcade, got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. Then you got your homebrew section where your tools reside. And of course you got Midnight Club, uh, Midnight Club 3, Dub Edition for the uh, original Xbox. Indie games. And your emulators, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, Super Nintendo, NES emulator, back to Game Boy Advance. Now. Xbox 360, we'll hit the dashboard. Make sure she's good. And like I said, snappy little system. All right, and we're good to go. As you can see, there's our X Community Beta that we're supporting, and of course, we have our uh, cheats over in our fifth tab. Disable A, enable A, very easy. And then bring that back to Xbox Home. And there you have it. Reed, thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it, man. You're a gentleman and a scholar. And you're shipping it off today. You'll have your tracking number. And you'll have it in two to three business days. Thank you so much. Now we're going to say goodbye to Reed. Okay. And we've got one more here. Ah. Jordan Fernandez. Mr. Fernandez. Bernie. <laughs> All right. Jordan, this one is yours. Okay. Another 320 gig. <laughs> God almighty, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to run on these mothers. All right. Anyway, this one is yours, brother. All right, we're going to fire it up. Make sure she's right and tight. We'll bring it over to the uh, dashboard here. Let's see here now. All right, sync the controller. Life is good. And there she goes. Booted. And we're going to boot up into Aurora. We're going to get our notifications from the server, letting us know it's online live, all that other happy nonsense. And then we're going to go through this thing. Okay? So bear with me. And Jay has it boots. Takes a little bit for it to connect for some reason. There we go. Got it. Good. Okay. And there you have it. Okay. So now, we'll go through this thing. Whoop. Yep, we got the one button updater. Okay. Now, start off at the dashboard. You got your Battlefield, your Borderlands, your Call of Duties. Oh, uh, let's see here now. You got your, uh, yeah. You got the uh, College Hoops 2K8. You got your Gears of War series. You got your Grand Theft Auto series. You got your Halo series. You got your Mass Effect series. Minecraft, and then of course NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamp, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row the Third, and of course back to the dashboard. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, you got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well, keep you busy. And then of course you got your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you got your classic game, Midnight Club Dub Edition. Then of course you got your indie game, you got Trailer Park King, Voice Changer 360. And then you have your emulators, you got Game Boy Advance, Sega, Mame, Super Nintendo, NES Emulator, back to Game Boy Advance. All right, now, Xbox 360, we'll hit the dashboard. Like I said, really snappy. <laughs> I love these 320s. Okay, and there you have it, okay? You're up, you're online. X Community, of course. And then, of course, you have your uh, Advanced Warfare, okay? So, to disable A, enable A. Very easy. And um, that I have to reboot this thing. That's why it's saying open tray. 
and that's really actually X community. Okay, as you can see, it's downloading the user settings from the server. So that's okay. Let it do that thing. Okay. So anyway, we'll hit Xbox Home, and there you have it. All right. So Jordan, listen, thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. Okay, and I'm glad that you got it from me. We're shipping it off today. You'll have your tracking number today. All right, and um, you know, like I said, you'll have it in two to three days. Remember, guys, you're gonna have to sign for these things when they come. All right, so make sure that you sign for these things. Okay. And guys, listen, I want you to have a great day. All right, be safe, be kind, remember to rewind. All right, and of course, I am building more consoles, and there will be more videos to later on today. So, I'm on a tear, all right? I got to get on a tear. Unfortunately, there has been some shipping issues with hard drives and stuff like that. Finally, I got my, my two terabytes in. I've been going like, oh, my God, and then my one terabytes came in. They were supposed to come in two days ago. They didn't. I'm like going like, where the hell are they? So, you know, I mean, it's just like, oh, my God. And then finally they came in today, and I'm just like, oh, go out on my porch. And sure, sure enough, there they are. I'm like, wow, that's cool. All right. So, anyway, needless to say, it's been crazy, okay? Shipping is just, man, I don't know what's going on, but haven't had these problems in months. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, I don't know, somebody took a vacation or something? I don't know. But anyway, guys, listen, you all have a good one. God bless you all. All right, I'm going to holler at you later. I got to get busy. I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy, guys. Have a great day. Take care.